McLeod, and I'm here with Biff from Stick on the Bus. How are you? All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys were so great last night. You were really fast, like really fast. I wasn't sure. I was pretty. We've been drinking all day, like so. <laughs> confused and drunk that's all yeah. yeah i mean you guys played at like one o'clock in the morning yeah. after you know and everyone's here all day i saw that you were sitting at your merch stall upstairs all day and then you know what are you doing you're drinking yeah yeah well, i think mean, you drink about 15 hours before we went on yeah and then something didn't work with my kit when we got up there and i thought not now you know like i don't want a fucking puzzle before we play yeah so i couldn't get these glasses i bought from pan and i broke them all before we got up there so I was struggling to plug myself in, but we got going all right in the end. Yeah. So, how did you guys come up with the name Sick on the Bus? Well, I was, on, I was working on the building site, and the site agent's son was starting the band, and his dad, a guy called Tony, said, You should call yourself Sick on the Bus. Everyone's been sick on the bus. And he's, he said, No, shit, I hate it. So I said, You don't want that name then? He goes, No. I said, I'll have it. And I mean, I phoned my mate Brian up, Do you want to be in a band sick, called Sick on the Bus? He goes, Yeah. And I'm up. That's it. <laughs> well, so you guys have gone over a lot of lineup changes through the years. You started in 89, and there's yeah. been a lot of different members. How did it come to be with the current lineup? Well, um, Brian's only, me and Brian started the band together. He's only just stopped because he's got, his hands got fucked up. You know, it's not, still not sure what's going on with that. And so, um, Tony I went to school with, he's been playing guitar with us forever. He moved on to the bass. Yeah. And we've known Scott, he stood in for us before. Because we're, we're like, uh, we've always been a band of mates. Yeah. We're drinking together is way more important than everything else. <laughs> you know, we're in a band and we have a laugh. Yeah. It's an excuse to get fucked up. <laughs> you know, we're, yeah. not, we're not here to change the world or nothing. Oh you know? well, yeah, uh, your your anthem, your your theme song is all about drinking, yeah, speed, uh, and <laughs> a little bit. Little yeah, I mean, you go with what you know, don't you? It's like, uh, I can't sing about this stuff. I don't know nothing about multinational corporations, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but what I do know is drinking, doing speed, and some of it a bit tongue in cheek, but most of it's my life mapped out, you know, you know, real situations, real girls in the thing. You know, someone's saying, oh, you're talking derogatory about women a bit before. I said, I went out of her, I thought she was a cunt. Do you know what I mean? I know, you didn't go out of her, how could you know? Do you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't about women, it's about one particular one. Yeah, yeah. not women in general. Yeah, 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 I had first hand experience, she's right, Cal. <laughs> like the loudest punks, somebody called you that because of your first show back in 89. Can you talk yeah. about what happened? It was like something like, you made a lady cry. Oh yeah. It was too loud, they made you stop and after now three I know, songs. I, now I know the lady's daughter, she's actually a friend of mine. It's at the Vine in Newark, we went up there, Kev got us a gig. And um, we'd only been together eight weeks and we had eight of our own songs and eight covers. I think we went on with New Rose and Neat, Neat, Neat. Some kickers, Faster! Brian swung his bass behind him, going, if you get out of that fucking chair, I'll kill you. Then they said, because Kev's a really loud drummer, they kept telling us to turn down, so we said no. And so they turned the PA off, and then it all went wrong. We were trying, we fucking smashed some stuff, pulled the radio off the wall, <laughs> flooded the toilets, and then uh, sold a bit of the PA and had to go because the police were on the way. The landlady's crying by this point, she goes, I've called the police, you know. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we've well, got, we, we're not like that now. Yeah. You know I mean? Was it hard to get booked after that on shows? It's always been. We know it's really booked us that much. <laughs> we, we don't show the line, if you know what I mean. It's like, uh, whatever. We just, yeah. You but you that. also play in Baruchers. Yeah. So is that, is it hard to split your time or is Baruchers takes up a lot of your time? 
this year we've been busy, it's the 40th anniversary, so we played a lot. You know, Rats got other stuff going on. It's not normally, you know, sick of the bus, we're lazy. Uh, I'm not very good at organising shit, you know, when people email, I got, I've, I've never really answered a Facebook message. I've got a, got a page for the for the band to put yeah. a post on it, but I must have 3,000 unread messages. I looked at them once, it's like, someone's already in a mood with me because I haven't responded, you know, like, I haven't even seen, I haven't even read it. Yeah. You know, like, so I don't do it, I don't look at it, I don't read it. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with messages. Yeah, I, I, get, I get confused. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Well, so you guys, Sick on the Bus, released an EP last year. Do you yeah. have plans to do another full length soon? Maybe. I mean, I, I think now, you know, everyone's attention span is like shorter. You know, and uh, albums, I think you lose good songs sometimes. I like EPs, five, six, eight tracks. Yeah. You know, I think it's the right length. I think sometimes in an album, it. Some songs that were good because they're all in there, they get lost a little bit, you know, like... Yeah, and there's a lot of pressure to yeah. do songs that are, like, all good songs that aren't fillers. Yeah, I mean, we, we always get loaded when we record, like, and and if we do a whole album, you know, oh, we fuck that up, you know, yeah. like, let's just fuck six songs up at a time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last time, no, not the last time before, we all drank over a gallon in a day and then about seven grams of speed. By the end of the day, we had no idea how fast we were playing. Is it fast? I don't Is it fast? Are we slow? Yeah, Are we yeah, on yeah. this planet? Yeah, so we did two versions. Because Lemmy had just died. So sometimes the bummer in us there, we did two versions. And I was struggling to play the lead guitar. And Tony goes, you mean it's too fast? We fuck off. But then we did a slow one just for him. We get back, play it, go, fuck it. It, it is fast because that's a slow one. Yeah. So yeah, we did lose concept of time. Or are you paying for studio time? No, I pay for studio time. Oh, shit. Yeah, we go in during the day. Oh, okay. Yeah, we go in there, we've got a load of beer, vodka, speed, just like do it. Just knock it out. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 Rukas did um Go to Hell, we went in the night before and they let us stay there. And we got hammered and we'd only written half the album and we turned into the world's worst covers band overnight. <laughs> and I remember we were just trying to do uh it should should be gone by Rainbow, and it was the worst thing I'd ever heard. <laughs> what other songs were you covering? I, I, I'm not sure. Now it's a long time ago. Yeah. I know there's like, some rock songs and stuff, you know, because we know them vaguely from memory. But yeah. Um, maybe some songs from Greece. I don't know. Well, so what else do you have coming up for this year for Sick on the Bus? Do you guys have any more gigs coming up? Yeah, we got a few coming up. Um, I can't remember what they are though. Uh, but Tony does that kind of thing. I've written, um, just so busy this year, we normally stick a new EP out every time we play it. Yeah. And, um, but this year I've been that busy. I've written some uh, songs, but I want to get the music down so I can think about the, the lyrics that I'm going to put to it. Yeah. You know, cause, uh, when I make the lyrics first, I find that I struggle to play the guitar to it because I've got the lyric, I can't, I didn't want to be a singer. It just ended up that way. But you know, patting your head and rubbing your belly. If I've got, well, if I've got the lyrics first, I'll fuck the song up. Yeah. Oh, I want the music, then I can put the music, the lyrics to it. I would imagine that's kind of hard to coordinate. I hear that from a lot of other singers. They're like, I don't want to play guitar. Yeah, I just yeah. want to be a singer. Yeah, I just wanted to play guitar. It's just everybody, we had seven singers before I did it. And I was writing all the lyrics. So why don't you do it? And so I did. Yeah. And then it, I did it that long that I was doing it now. But it's not my intention, I just wanted to play guitar. Yeah. I'd love to just play guitar for it, you know what I mean? You're really good at it, you're fast. You're like really, really, really fast. Well, I feel like I'm compromised. I'd like to stick to stick on a bunch of real guitar kind of band, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so now I've got all this singing in the way. You know what I mean? But, so, uh, but it's fun, yeah, I like it, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. Cool. Thank you so much bad. for taking the time. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's not so scary. Yeah, I'm going to get a gym on like that. <laughs> all right, I'm Biff from Sick on the Bus. You're watching Last Rockers TV.